Hi folks, welcome back to Kurnow EXP and welcome to Kennel Vale Gunpowder Works. Now at the moment we're at the very bottom of the actual uh, Gunpowder Works and now we're going to walk all the way through where the grinding side of things were and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So we're in a massive warehouse for remains of right now, as you can see. So, hope you enjoy, folks. Let's go. So I think the next building we come to is the manager's office. So we've been in this valley all day. <coughs> we discovered a, an abandoned house in the woods. Not sure if that video's up now. If it isn't, then it will be on the way. So that's a nice meander along. Sorry about the light pollution. But there's remains of the, what I believe the manager's hut. Sorry about the reflection. I can't really do a lot about that. There's a uh, a bridge goes over the uh, over the river. This river is fairly powerful. Uh, you can imagine why they uh, use this valley because of the power of the water in here for the grinding purpose. It's another hut of some description building. Quite a few folks around. I'm not sure if we'll bump into any, but we might do. There's an old fireplace in there, look. Interesting. The granite in this valley is just phenomenal. The massive chunks, like up there, look. Look at that. You can see that they use the local granite for the buildings, the mills, grinding the gunpowder. So here's the bottom mill. Up the very top, there's some still some machinery still in uh, in situ. We'll come across that in a bit. It's the River Kennel, I believe. I could be wrong on that one. I don't think I am. It's the next uh, mill. So it would have had an overshoot system. That's in a bit of a... Still got the original plaster on the walls there. So the water for the wheel, which would have been in this area here, it was an overshoot one, folks. So it would have came through here. As we can see here, look, that's the remains of where the sluice would have went across. So it gets does get a bit boggy down here in the winter months. Some more original plaster still there, which is amazing. On these steps that the council put in a few years ago. You can see the, the water down there. It's quite tame right now, but in the winter months it really hammers through here. So this is the leet which would have served all the grinding mills, as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite uh, unkept now, but it is semi, well, it's not maintained as such, really. So we're heading to the next mill. You can see the water there, folks, gushing out. Can you see that from here? Yeah, you can. So 
nice little bridge here. It's a lovely place to come if uh, if you want to get back to nature and you want to go somewhere fairly quiet because it's never really that busy down here. So uh, yeah, it may, it may not not be suitable for young children, really young children, because obviously there's like sheer drops and things like that, you know. But uh, still, it's a good place. We've been to the other part as well where not many people go. And there's lots of stuff up there. I'm not going to tell you exactly where that is. Look at that. Someone's left a boot there. How about that, folks? I think we need to get another picture of that. Now we've got a picture for Instagram, so check that out. So, the water would have came from that level there, across, and into here, where the wheel was, as you can see, look. That's where the wheel was. The next part of the mill there. So let's keep going. Here's the next uh, milling side of, of it all. I reckon the outside of this valley is beautiful because of the sun right now. So, there we go. You see a window down there. So this one might have been an undershoot, but I'm not sure. I, I should imagine it's an overshoot, but I don't know, folks. Another part of it there. So the, the steps are quite uneven, so I wouldn't recommend anybody go here at night, and not unless you've got some good torches like we have. <laughs> well, you can see this is the, the the sluice where the water was was uh, obviously mi it was milled up there, up a lot higher than down. They're using gravity, you see. Those guys from a long time ago used used their models, didn't they, folks? Look at that! We got got there now, look. So come on, let's go. Original granite steps. So you can see, look, see those lines in the side of the granite. That's when they were chiselled into that, those shapes in the quarry. So they use these little metal things called feathers. And you go bang, 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 and eventually the granite will split. Clever stuff. Here's inside uh, one of the mills. It's a foundation plank there, look. And that's. Uh, through to the next part of the building. Magic, eh? Magic. It's an interesting place here, folks. Oh, look at this. You can see what they're doing. They're using gravity to work at all the uh, water wheels. The original uh, iron work underneath there, look. Magic, eh? Right, let's move on. We're out getting wet. 
Terus. So it's still summertime and yet we've uh, I've got a bit of water leakage problem there. It's still summertime and we've got all this water here. So you can imagine what this place is like in the winter, folks. Absolutely saturated. I can vouch for that because I've been down here in the winter. And uh, you need wellies. You really do. We've got a bit of leakage problem here, as we can see. Get past quick, they're getting soaked. There we are, we're through. So yeah, this is the one where parts of the machinery are still there. You see the water wheel, folks. Magic, isn't it? Look at that. That's rare. Rare to see a water wheel or remains of still in situ. Normally they're all rubbed away. So we've got a bit of a little bit of water coming there. So yeah. Let's go and have a look at the engine. Or remains of. I think it's down in here. Yeah, here we are. So, to see this kind of stuff in situ is, is extremely rare. You would not believe it, folks. But you can imagine that turning around. That would go quite slow, and then it was geared down, and then this wheel here would be flying around like a, like a real fast thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers and gone.